Hello everyone, I am Ege Kor. Uh, this is my EE102 term project. My term project is about security systems and in this project I am inspired from Cold War movies. In the Cold War movies there are three commanders who are responsible for throwing the nuclear bomb. So they have three Ks. Uh, actually it is kind of precaution to a wrong decision of just one commander. Okay. Likewise, in this project, uh, there must be three people and the first two people are responsible about the hardness uh, or hardness level of the system. Uh, they enter two 7-bit numbers and then they control the system. The third person, are, uh, the third person is responsible from the passing the system. Okay. Uh, Let's begin. Uh, I will show from an example. Uh, here, there are seven bit numbers and seven bit numbers as well. Uh, the first two people enter the numbers here and here. Then, the third person switch this switch is on, and this switch is about to enable switch. It starts the time limitation of system. In this project, time limitation is. 42 seconds and uh, the third person uh, use just four gates. The gates are coded in two bit numbers. 00, 0 is NOR gate, 0, 01 is NAND gate, 10 is AND gate and 11 is XOR gate. And uh, so it means that third person should enter 14-bit number, which means 7 gates. And the aim is to reach the tooth complement of the first number in 42 seconds. So sometimes, according to first two 7-bit numbers, uh, it can be really hard to reach tooth complement of the first number in 42 seconds. So I put a reset button uh, on FPGA. And if the first two people want uh, to give second or more chance to third person, they can start 42 seconds again and again. Okay, uh, and after stage one, I put a different stage, which is stage two. Uh, as you know, in the hospitals, uh, there are some hands platforms to get the handprints and it's like this uh, the person should uh, put his hands like this and in this system the ultrasonic sensor determines the distance of the hand and by using the v-shaped platform it can determine the size of the hand okay if the third person's hand size is not in the range of determined size he or she cannot pass the system. So, the most important thing is to pass stage 1 and then stage 2 and it means that you can pass the whole system. Okay, uh, let's give an example for this system. Basic example, of course. Okay, uh, let's start uh, with a basic example. Uh, I will enter 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0 for the first two numbers it means that the first two people enter uh, 0 and 0 for the first two numbers and the third person should get 0 again because 0's compl 2's complement is again 0 so the question is third person should get 0 again but how can uh, he or she reach this number by using which gate? Okay, uh, I look and it seems XOR is pretty good for this aim. Uh, XOR is coded as 1 1. It means that you should enter 1 1 and you get the 0 again because it's two's complement number of 0. Uh, let's try. Now the system works and 0 and 0. Uh, has already uh, entered, has been entered. So 
I will just enter one and one for each bit and uh, I will get uh, the pass which means one for the stage one okay uh, this is uh, the red led which is responsible from the output of stage one if you pass the stage one it uh, becomes on let's look firstly I start the time limitation which is the enable led the green led uh, our 42 seconds has been started and I will answer one 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 again okay output one stage has been on so our system works and in the stage two when I put my hands this led on it means your hand is in the range of hand size, determined hand size, uh, of course, which is my hand size. If your hand is uh, much greater than my hand, it stops here, so the light is off, it means you cannot pass the stage 2. So you can now pass the whole st stages. And if you pass both stages, stage 1 and stage 2, this light is on, this is the output of whole stage. It means you pass the system. Congratulations. Thank you very much.